I have all my little fine hairs in around the edges and now I'm ready to put his whiskers in. So I wanna be really careful when I put these whiskers in because you're really gonna notice them. So I wanna make sure I've practiced quite a bit with my liner brush that I know exactly the right amount of paint to have on it to get a nice, smooth, long whisker without having it be too thick. So I'm gonna turn my paper so that the arc is perfect for my arm. I don't wanna do this at a strange angle. That will make it really hard to do. So I'm gonna have my white paint on and I'm just gonna go slow and steady through the whisker and make sure it comes off nicely off the end. Remember, you want these to be varied you want some to be thin and some to be slightly thicker. You don't want them all the same. I do have them traced in. So I can go over where those marks are. Later I can come back and erase some of the dark lines that I made in order to trace them in if I need to. Remember that they don't all curve in the same exact arc. And in order to make them look realistic, you need a couple that overlap because they're never gonna have whiskers that none overlap. So you wanna make sure there's at least a couple that are kind of going in a slightly different direction. Not like the big main ones, but just a couple little wispy ones to really make it look realistic. And then in order to do the other side, again, you just want to make sure that your hand is at a good angle. So if it's easier for you to turn your paper upside down, you can do that. But if you hold the brush and go like this, it's going to leave a wider mark. So you want to make sure that your paper is turned so that your brush can flow straight out to leave that line. Because if I'm going like this, I'm leaving a wide mark. If I'm going straight out, I'm just using the very point and I'm leaving that nice thin mark. So I wanna make sure that my brush is just pulling away the right way. If part of your line doesn't come, you can just get a little bit more paint, go right back on and add to the end of it, okay? But this, you wanna be really careful that your brush is pulling away so it leaves that nice straight line. If you go across, you're gonna get a wide line. So you wanna make sure you're always pulling straight. Get those couple in that are just a little wonky a little bit to make it really look realistic. And then some of them, the white paint, you might just need to go over. Sometimes that white paint, as it dries, it fades and gets a little bit grayer. So you might need to just take the fine tip of that brush and where it's going over a darker area, just trace over that whisker and add another layer of paint to really make it dark enough. And that gets his whiskers in and they pop. 